Okay, so we've talked a little bit about the odds. We've talked a little bit about how to buy in at the casino. We've talked about the dice themselves, the number of combinations to make certain numbers. What we're going to do now is set up some more scenarios, run through a few more things, let you guys see how the game is progressing. It's going to be a little confusing for people at first, especially if this is your first go at this, trying to learn this stuff. Repetition is the mother of all skill. You have to see these things happen over and over and over again in order for them to make sense. So by putting together different scenarios and by putting together different different things you're going to be able to see a whole bunch of stuff again that's the value in the video that I have for sale is that there are hours of, of, of crap hands that you can sit there and watch and you can see what cold and hot hands look like and see how it all pulls together so let's go ahead and set this stuff up again our player has bought in he's got a couple hundred dollars in the rail he's, he's bought in his two hundred dollars he's got a hundred dollars in green and a hundred dollars in red and we're going to start playing from there tilt the game camera down and we're going to set up some action and actually play the game and see how the dice dictate what's going to be happening here. All right. Our player is going to start out on the pass line. On the pass line, 7 or 11 wins, and 2, 3, or 12 is no good. 2, two 3, and 12 is called craps. Those numbers are craps numbers. 7 or 11 wins, and 2, 3, and 12 loses. So our player is going to be offered a total of five dice from the dealer. When he's going to shoot, it's his turn. He's going to get a choice out of these five dice. We're not playing Yahtzee. We're playing craps. So he's going to take any two dice will do. He likes those two dice right there. The dealer takes the other ones and puts them in the boat. We're looking for seven or 11 to win. Now, normally, he's shooting on this side of the game. We're going to throw the dice past the center of the game and hit them down at the other end of the table. But because of the way the camera angle is, it's easier for me to reach over here and uh, call the numbers this way for this, this little uh, demonstration. So pass line bet. We're going to start out with $5 on the pass line, a minimum bet. If it's a $10 table, you got to put $10 on the pass line. We happen to be running a $5 table here, so it's a, it's a $5 game. We're looking for $5 on the pass line. Minimum money from your bankroll so that you can last as long as possible. I don't want to see you go to the casino and hit the table hard and go home broke in 20 minutes. That's no fun. I'd rather see you play the game for hours and hours and hours. We can do that if we stay on the pass line and uh, start with minimum money at first. 7 or 11 wins. 7 or 11 wins. 9-9. Nine, nine, center field 9. Center field 9. We didn't win. We didn't lose. We made a 9. We made a point. We made a 9. We watched how to get in on the pass line, how that wins and loses. We know that a 9 is going to win. We know that a 7 is going to wipe us out. Let's get a little bit more action on this game and see how this works. Uh, nine's our point. Let's get some more action. The dealer is going to take the money from the player, not from his hands. He has to pick it up from the layout. So you're going to take your money and set it out there and say, dealer, give me whatever it is that you're looking for. The dealer will say, you got a bet, and set it up up here in the dealer's territory. These are player-controlled bets out here. You can put your money out here, and the dealer will pay it out there, and it's up to you to pick it up. But uh, once you get up into this area, this is the dealer's workspace, and he's not going to let you put your hands near here, especially if there's a whole bunch of chips up here. He's got to keep track of everything that's going on. So uh, my player is going to say, dealer, give me a six and an eight for six dollars each. You have to bet units of six on the six and the eight. The rest of these numbers are going to require units of five on a five dollar table. These require six because they pay a little bit more. They pay seven dollars. Six dollars bet here wins seven dollars. $5 bet here wins $7, and $5 bet here wins $9. These are called place bets. There's a couple different ways to get up in the game, but I'm going to show you place bets first and foremost. We're going to give our player $3 in change here. He gave me $15. Bucks. He got a 6 and an 8 for $6 each, and then I'm going to tell you to take another $5 chip here and put it in the field. Now, don't get me wrong. The field is a bad bet. And I'm going to show you in a little while here in another segment why the field is a bad bet. There's actually more ways to lose here than there is to win. But for right now, that $5 investment gets me all these numbers. It gets me 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Let's see what we have invested here. We have $22 invested, 5 on the pass line, 5 in the field, and $12 up here on the 6 and the 8. The numbers I have covered out from 2 to 12, I have 2, 3, 4, I don't have five covered. That's okay. Five's not in the field either. That's fine. But I do have six and eight. I got nine on the pass line and also here in the field. That's covered twice. So two, three, four, six, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Every single number on the dice except for five and the one that we don't want to see, which is the number seven. We don't mention seven when we're in the middle of a hand. If it shows up, the uh, craps players are real superstitious, and they'll blame the guy that said the number seven. So we try not to do that if we can. Look for nine shooter, nine away, nine a row. What's the number we're looking for? It's nine. There it is. Nine. Winner. Pass line winner. 
our player won on the pass line and he also won in the field. the puck goes back to the off position. we're now ah in the first part of the game again. we're seven or eleven wins. i'm going to tell you to stack it up on the pass line add to your bet but also add to your bankroll if you can. but let's get your money out of there first. i want to see it stacked up on the pass line and the player is going to tell me he's got the six and the eight going. we're going to place the next two highest probable numbers which are the five and the nine these bets are off. that's what this puck means off. these bets are off. these place bets are off. they're not in action. there's nothing that's going to affect them. you're not going to win if they roll but more importantly they're, you're not going to lose them. there's no way for those uh, for those numbers to go away. they're off. they're not in action. looking for seven or eleven to win. seven or eleven wins, two, three or twelve loses and this pass line bet's the only thing that's working right now. seven or eleven wins. three crap dice, ace, call to deuce. three crap dice. we're going to lose that pass line bet. So he's going to go down here again with minimum money. Don't chase money that you've lost. Play with the minimum money. We'll let the dice dictate the game and we'll see how, that, how that's going to work for us. Pass line, 7 or 11 wins, 2, 3 or 12 is no good. Three crap dice back to back. Ooh, we got a crap shooter in the house, folks. Again, he loses on the pass line. Now he's investing a little more than we want to. Pass line bets. Pass line bets. Looking for 7 or 11. 7 or 11 wins, 2, 3, or 12 is no good. There's a 7 winner, front line winner, front line winner. So we're going back and forth on the pass line. We're not making any headway. Looking for a 7 or 11 shooter. Come on, dice. 7 or 11 wins. It's a come out roll. 9, 9, 9, center field 9, center field 9. Back on that 9. We're going to move this to a place that we don't have coverage here. We don't want to cover something twice. The 9 is our pass line bet, so we don't need to cover it here. We're going to move it to the place of the 4 or the 10. We're not sure which. Pick one. Doesn't make any difference. They're both the same in, in uh, probability. Let's play the 4. We're going to let one of these numbers pay to place the 10. We're not going to invest any more money from our bankroll as a player. Say, easy 8, easy 8. Six dollars wins seven dollars on that eight. What are we going to do? We're going to get coverage first. We want to get our money in the game. We're going to get some coverage. And then we're going to get our money out of the game if we can. And then we're going to bet House's money back at him. That's the basics of the strategy I'm going to be teaching you guys off the bat here. Look for nine. Shooter nine's a number. Nine will roll. Nine. Winner. Pass line. Winner. Pass line. Winner. We won again on the pass line. Now. We've got a total of two wins on the pass line here back to back. So what are we going to do? We're going to add to that bet, but we're going to take away the first $5 that we invested for this particular round, at least uh, this particular hand with that pass line money there. We're going to try to get our money out of there in addition to, to uh, adding to our bet. We're going to add to our bankroll if we can. Looking for 7 or 11, shooter 7 or 11 wins. A 10, that's an easy 10, 10. Point is 10. We don't need a 10 and we got a 10 on the pass line. So we're going to move this to the one we don't have. We don't have a 9. We're going to cover our 9. Now we're looking for it. It's a 10. It's a point. 10 will roll. 10 winner. Easy way winner. Front line winner. All right. We made a pass. We'll go back to the first part of the game. The player's going to take this. He's going to add some to his bankroll and take some. Rather add some to the bet and add some to the bankroll. We're going to do both. We're coming out again. 7 or 11 wins. 2, 3, or 12 is no good. Perhaps 11, any 7. 8, easy 8, easy 8. Point is 8. Okay, we've got an 8 here. It's already covered on the pass line. Which number don't we have? We don't have a 10. We're going to cover the 10. You only have to bet $5 on the 10, so we're just going to get that dollar back off that 8. 6 and 8 are the only oddballs. You've got bet units of 6 to win units of 7. Look for 8 to win. Shooter 8 or 9 in a row. 8 will go. 8 winner, front line winner. Came easy way. All right, our shooter is shooting pretty good. He's making the points. He's making the passes. This time he's going to add ten dollars to his bankroll. We're going to drag fifteen this time to the bankroll and add ten to the bank. He's got a total of thirty-five dollars bet out there on the pass line. That's a nice, healthy bet, and none of it's his money. That's all house's money at this point on the pass line. That's pretty good. Seven or eleven wins. Seven or eleven wins. Ten easy way. Ten easy way. Ten. Points ten. We're going to move it back to the one that we don't have. He doesn't have an eight. He's going to throw me that dollar back. We're going to cover that eight with a six dollar bet. Look for ten. Shoot. Ten's a line. Ten a point. Ten a row. Three crap dice. Ace and a deuce. One, two, three. Craps. Doesn't affect us. We're not winning or losing on crap dice when we're on the middle of the game here. When the puck is on, we're not going to lose on two or three or twelve. Look for ten. Shooter. Seven out. Six and a one. Okay, that's a hand. It's gone. It's done.
player had $62 in action. And none of it was his money. We're going to add up the $100 here that he had to start with. Oops, I'm wrong. We lost just a little bit of money on that round. So out of the $62 that he was there, he's actually only down about $5 from the original $200. He got worked a little bit earlier. But that's okay. It goes back and forth like that. We're going to set up a few more hands, and we're going to see how things play out, folks. Keep watching. 